finally in a new state, state of South Dakota. Finally left Colorado after about a month and a half or so. Lost track, I don't know how long I was there. In this park, I think they have just over 1,200 bison. And today we're heading to a spot where they're kind of supposed to hang out. There's like three big areas, I guess, they're supposed to mainly hang out. But the campground we are at, sage campground it's free to stay at and the buffalo or the bison will actually walk through through the campground but yesterday followed herd of bison there had to been at least 200 or more uh kind of hung out with them for a good hour and a half or so and on the 14th could you guys be watching this on the 23rd or somewhere around there I did a live, just first time I've done, just kind of take you along and uh, I was just doing a more of a scouting, see where they're at. It was middle of the day, horrible, horrible lighting, got some decent shots and took a break. And just after my break, I turned around to get ready to leave. There was this big bull of bison just strolling past. And paid me any attention, and he was only about 50 yards away. Got a really nice shot of him. Right now, we're that other area we're headed to where there's supposed to be bison. It's about four and a half miles, cutting dead straight. If you follow the road, is like six. And before we get there, about another one and a quarter miles. It's called White Butte. All kinds of wildlife out here. So. Started early, it's only about 11.30 for I get a head start because I know filming and doing all that takes a little extra time to hike. Um, so that's where we're at, that's where we're headed. See you here in a while. All right, we just stopped, take a quick water break. Harvey's been panting like crazy for the last 20 minutes. So, uh, but really nice. That wind's really coming this way. That mic, no wind saw. But nice area to take a break. A lot different type of view than we've spent the last month and a half in up in those mountains. Gorgeous area. Real hazy today. Uh, they're not calling for really any type of sky, so I don't know as far as big landscape shots. We'll see. I really want to get a shot with my new 24 to 70. Um, and yesterday and today, obviously the 7300 is standing back from now on for backup. Hopefully I never have to use it for a backup. But this 100 to 400 photograph of the bison yesterday, so nice, even being, <clears throat> 100 yards out, whatever, trying to stay safe, still able to crop in real tight, get a nice image and still keep detail and sharpness. Hopefully get some bison, antelope be awesome, rams. Like I said, so much wildlife out here. Get some water, take a break, carry on. The white butte's only about a half mile from here, so we had to go a little bit out of our way, get around that river, we'll get hydrated and Head out, we'll see you in a few. All 
right, we got our first first bison. Um, he's a long ways away. I mean, he's a good over a quarter mile or more away. Uh, I just got this out so I can kind of zoom in as tight as I could and just video it so I can just show you. It's not going to be the greatest. I'll crop in on the video and try to get something. But decent sign right there. It's probably about a good quarter mile away or so is that white butte. So we'll probably climb on top of that and see what kind of view because it looks like really nice views. It's just it's so hazy. Again, sorry for the winds. That's why I got my back turned to it. I'm doing my best. But hopefully, I think tomorrow's supposed to be hot and sunny. And then the following two or three days, I think there's a chance of some rain. So hopefully that'll cool it off and uh, bring down this haze some. So it's the haze is not so thick. But we're going to do what we can today. Hopefully maybe this later this evening, once it cools off, that haze starts to go away. But we'll see. Uh, like I said, we'll get what we can get. Um, if we don't get much of anything, it's still a great day to be out and explore and just experience all the wildlife and uh, scenery. So I'm going to pack this back up and head out and get to the top of that butte and see what we see from there. All right, through my fancy camo on, just because now that we saw that bison, Maybe there's more around here. And I'll stand out less like a sore thumb, just like a walking tree. But figured kind of walking at an angle towards him, but also towards that butte. See if we can get a little bit closer to him. And also this uh, covering I got is kind of covering that mic and it's kind of help break that wind. So let's see what happens. Yeah, I came on top of this smaller hill. That bison, he's still out there chilling out on top of that hill. And we already walked about a quarter of a mile. So yeah, he's about a good half mile from where we were. So we're just gonna carry on and go up on top of this butte and like I said, leave him alone and go up here, see what we can see. Up here on top of White Butte. I know I haven't done a whole lot of photography yet. It's just not the right type of day. Sun's still real high. It's only like 10 to 2. But gorgeous <laughs> views up here. It's just a shame that it's just so hazy. That haze is so thick. Like I said, I was out here in 2020 and that image I took back then was first thing in the morning. And that morning glow and even evening golden light just this just lights up real nice. You got the golden the golden grass and the green and the rock cliff sides. You got this river winding through. Just so gorgeous. I think this would make for a nice photograph in the morning or evening. But where we're headed off that direction, got those cliff sides out there. That's where we're headed. Uh, it's only about, it says 2.33 miles. Um, so the time we get down there, probably two and a half miles from weaving around sunsets not until like eight and going on two now so it's still like six hours for sunset so we got plenty of time to go two and a half miles so we're just gonna go ahead and get packed back up after grabbing a drink and head out that way and once we get out there um i'm gonna stop and eat something and hopefully there's a herd of herd of bison out there All right, we came down off of that butte. And since we gotta pretty much head right past this bison we saw in the background, or a while back, right across from them. So we're good, maybe a hundred yards. Um, he's just kind of chilling right now. I think he's, obviously he knows I'm here. 
nowhere to really hide. He's just laying down. Big old guy. Big head. They're so massive. I'm not making the same mistake as I did with those elk. Um, and I'm shooting in manual auto ISO. And also I can set my own aperture, Harvey Lee. Um, I know there hasn't been wolves around here for years, but it's probably so ingrained in these guys. Um, the wolves aren't their friend, and I don't know really how they would act if they really saw Harvey moving around a whole lot. Harvey doesn't really care. That one that passed by us yesterday real close, Harvey <laughs> looked up and then just went back to panting and laying down. So Harvey doesn't care. I just don't know how they are. It's just so so hazy out uh the background is just really kind of nasty um once that sun goes down if we had some side light on him it would be awesome but since we were so close i couldn't pass him up if he was standing up i think we'd get a pretty cool shot um but let's see here i zoomed in again you go yeah he's right there he looks far on here but he's really not he's pretty much right there so we'll grab a few more shots and um, head on out We haven't gone very far from that other one we just photographed. He's actually just over this hill a little bit. Now I was going to go up on this ridge because I saw one off in the distance. And then as I got closer to that, I heard him snorting. <laughs> and saw one off in the distance. He started running this way. He's further away. I'm like, oh my god. I'm going to come back this way. And as I came around, there's one, two, three, four, four or five down there. Top of this hill right here. See what I can get. They look, they're down there wide open, so I can't really get down there. I'm gonna head on over to that spot and see if we can't uh, get a shot. I'm not gonna get too close because, like I said, they're down there in the open. They're down there kicking around dirt and rolling around and running around. So, like I said, a lot quicker than I am, and they can close that gap a lot quicker than I can spread the gap. So, see what we can get. I'm gonna go. Um, like I said, go down this hill, just wide open. Um, they're just grunting, groaning. I don't know what that means. Uh, they probably see me, um, not really in grass. I got a couple images of one rolling around. Um, there's a little young one. I'm just kind of watching my back to that other one we already photographed uh, in case he decides to make his way down to this group. I don't need him rolling up on my back. Uh, that's cool. that, one just, that one I saw way off in the distance, he's making his way this way also. Uh, this one, they kind of, they look like they want to this way. Like I said, I'm not first time being around bison and all that especially in the wild I do not know their attitudes and all that this is a harvey bunch of so let's uh see what we can get here as far as video real quick all right i'm gonna photograph some more here and then keep carrying on um, Thank you. 
closer. And I'm on top of this hill a little bit. So I get some little tighter shots of them. I was able to come up this hill a little bit more, get behind this small berm and rocks. And it's probably about as close as I'm gonna try to get. Cause like I said, they know I'm here. I got enough range and I can crop this enough to get good images. The one that's been on that hill, that first one we photographed, he's just hanging on that hill. So up here, at least I can see where they're all at and what they're doing, because the problem is you're walking across this or these all these hills and you might see them off in the distance. They move a lot quicker than you think and the time you come back over top of another hill, they're, they're right there. That's the only sketchy part. When I knew they were walking this way earlier and I went over that way, then I wanted to decide to come back. I went way off that way to hopefully they hadn't made it that far yet. And coming up over those hills, it's just a little um, sketchy. Like the one yesterday, I was following and thought I got down far enough ahead of him. And I got halfway up the hill and all of a sudden his big old head almost came peeking over the top of that. And I got out of there before he saw me. But yeah, first time. It's fun. It's exciting. I've been running. Looking for something, digging deep since 99. What I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight all along. We're just slowly making our way back towards the camp. All the buffalo pretty much went down way into the valley, and I didn't really want to keep tracking them. You go over top of a hill, you don't know where they are, and you try to follow them, and bam, there they are. Just like we were going to cut up through there and just have to run right into that big male. I knew he came this way. This, uh, I was kind of staying down in these open areas and see if we can get another shot of him. I'm not going to push my luck with him. Uh, he's been nice enough to let me photograph him earlier, so leave him be. So long, farewell, bye-bye. Let's have a toast for those lost old eyes. And my crooked little heart that seems so rebellious. Oh, we're back up here on the White Butte. Uh, started heading our way back because those bison went ahead and took off. And there are these flying ant things. It's I was going to take this stuff off, but keeping the bugs off of me right now. But so the light's starting to get really nice. I mean, it's still got plenty to go down. I was debating whether to come up just because so much haze. Once that sun starts going down, that light, this grass, and it's just all this stuff just glows and already it's starting to. Uh, Finally, going to use my 24 to 70. Taking a real wide shot first because uh, I really like these rocks in the foreground. Uh, you got the goldish moss or whatever is growing on it, and then of course the white and creamish colors of the rock in the foreground, and then just leads on out into you got the the river bank winding through. Once that sun goes down a little bit more, and that light gets a lot more a lot more soft. Uh, but I've already taken a few shots. All right, I already grabbed some shots for my panorama, uh, but how I got it framed up, I know this the sky is super bright, just super hazy, um, and I didn't want too much of this foreground, and because down here, um, a third of the way through, 
or right at the beginning, you got all this gray, real light colored area before you get to it all the green. And from there, it's all green and tan and all that. So it just stood out. So I try to split between that and the sky and I'll just crop into a, like a longer narrow, maybe it'll be a uh, one by three crop, like a 10 by 30 or something like that. We'll see. Um, took five, like four and a half images really, uh, just to get uh, where that first bend is, where you can really see the, the river bank. So from there, and then all the way over, just past where the river bank is, and a little part of the hill to the right of it. So it took four and then just a little bit more to get all the way across. Uh, zoomed in at 70 millimeter F11 and then did uh, HDR shots um, just because that sky was so hazy, so bright, and I was just having a difficult time getting it just right because the foreground was looking really good and then the background was just super hazy and bright. So I just did proper exposure, focused third of the way in, F11, uh, proper exposure, one under, two under, two over, one over, two over. That way it gives me gives me something to play with in Lightroom. Um, even if I don't use them all, at least I got, they're there if I need them. So liking how that come out so far. Like I said, really looking forward to seeing these 24 to 70 images um, on the computer compared to my old Canon uh, 24 to 70. Just really hoping they look just as good as here as they did when I tested it um, against that tree. We're gonna look real quick, see if there's see if there's any other kind of shots. Um, and I'll be back with you. Hope you enjoy the shot. All right, I found one more image. It's probably gonna be the last image of the night. Um, looking over here, kind of wanted to use that uh, haze almost to my advantage somewhat, kind of like fog. So you got all these hills, hillsides in the um, distance there. So I threw my 100 to 400 in. I am zoomed in probably about 325 or so uh, millimeter. And I got this hillside out there. Um, you got hills and then they kind of intertwine and as you go through the photo um, into the the haziness, it goes like sharper in the foreground and kind of disappears into the haze, almost like fog. So that's what I was using and the hillsides were just littered randomly with a bunch of trees. So might do black and white or I haven't decided yet. So I just thought it was interesting. Um, so I'm gonna grab a couple more images of these and I think that might be about it, but we'll see. I'll be right back with you. All right, that's about gonna do it for the evening, about all the shots I can get. I got this shot here finally with my new 24 to 70 couple shots. Looking forward to seeing those, how, see if they are as sharp as they were during the test. That shot out there, we'll see how that come out. But all in all, great day. Um, got the photographs, some more American bison, not a big herd like I saw yesterday, but still fun to sit and watch. Um, they stare at you pretty intensely. It gets, if you're not used to it, they get, it's, it's a little bit intense because you don't know what they're gonna do. You're waiting for them to charge up towards your direction. So we're gonna pack our stuff up, start heading that way. Uh, I just wanna get back before it gets dark. And I know these, uh, sometimes my videos go a little bit long. Uh, I guess that's just kinda how it is with my videos, I guess. Um, I just like to bring people along, show a little bit more what's out here instead of just walk, walk, walk. Hey, look at my photos, walk, walk, walk. Hey, look at all the photos I took. Uh, just show you a little bit more, talk a little bit more about what's out here and what people can see. And you don't always have to go to national parks. Um, 
kind of what I try to do. I just like to go to areas where most people don't go, um, that nobody really talks about, um, cause they're not this huge, gorgeous landscape, awe inspiring places, because there's so much more in the U S and the world to see besides all those hot spot tourist areas. So that's what I like to do. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to pack up. We're going to start heading out. So again, thanks for watching. Can't wait to see you guys or show you guys the next location. It's gorgeous. And until then, we'll see you at the top. I just stepped in some uh, pretty fresh bison droppings.